Hey guys, Wolfsong here. So, basically, I don't know what happened, but when I was recording this video the other night, um, for some reason, the intro did not get recorded. Basically, where I was kind of introducing what I was doing and um, explaining what, or what I was planning to do. And so, that's actually kind of a good thing in because I just kind of rambled on for a couple of minutes and then I think Chris talked and like asked for your name or something and I basically just fangirled for a bit too so you really didn't miss much and you're gonna get some more fangirling here in a second but um yeah that happened and also I would like to apologize ahead of time for the recording quality um I was recording late at night so I put the microphone way, way too close to my face, and unfortunately, uh, there is a lot of, you, you get a lot of me breathing into the mic, and I am so sorry for that. I promise that from now on, when I record these videos, I'm going to try and do it during the day so that I'm not talking quietly in an attempt to keep myself from being too loud and like waking people up and stuff. Um, and so... I hope you enjoyed the video anyways, and thank you so much for watching. See ya! Gotta be Kira. Funny story about that. Uh, the way that Kira is spelled when it's spelled like this, the spelling here. When I was a little girl, this was actually a name of my one of my imaginary friends, right? And, but her name was not pronounced Kira, her name was pronounced Kyra, because it was like, kind of like my name, I don't know, I was a kid, it was weird, anyway, that's gonna be my name, mm. yeah, a lovely name, for a lovely person like you, Jeez. wonderful, jeez, Chris, you just, gosh, oh, I love it, oh, he's so good at this, Eric, do your job, this guy's pretty good too, I should learn these voice acting moves. I should. Very well. <laughs> this game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment <laughs> under the direction of Michaela Long <laughs> and is powered by Renpai Visual Novel Engine. We truly hope you'll enjoy this story. I know I'll enjoy it. So <laughs> that do. part gets me. Oh, that part gets me so much. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, calm down. Stop fangirling. Right now. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Mm, deep breaths. <sighs> you need to be quiet. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. And that line is so smooth. Like, oh, my goodness. It is so smooth. Like, you do not even understand the smoothness of that line. All right. I'm going to stop fangirling now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop fangirling and try to get this video done. <laughs> this is gonna be like half an hour of me talking. Oh my gosh. I, I just can't look up it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I was gonna say something else, and I've completely forgotten. Eric. He. <laughs> you got in trouble. Fine, fine. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet. Bye bye. Love you. Okay, enough fangirling. Stop fangirling. I can't. I need to get this. Guys, guys, you guys are going to have to forgive me. I can't stop fangirling. Like, there does look everyone that I know. Like, you don't even understand. Somewhere. <laughs> oh, oh, that gets me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I forget. <laughs> oh, okay, stop. Who are you shooting and why? Come on! Is that all you got? Oh. Wanna try me, asshole? Oh! Okay, okay, guys, it's okay. Crap! Missed! You better run. Let's retreat for now. <laughs> no kidding. Let's get out of here. Mm, Chris. That's right. You better run, you stupid punks! 
Stay out of our territory! Oh my gosh, this is a freaking gang war in this. Call it fate or call it coincidence. That one moment of silence started the chain of events I will never forget. Cue opening sequence. Just kidding. This formula, created in the 70s, was one of the most important in the field of financial theory. I love, I love that she put all this work into this, like, that, that, that Michaela Laws works with so many people, but, like, he put all these voices in this sketch and, and all sorts of other things, okay, because, like, you guys would have to listen to me reading all of that. And I just feel like it, it, it's nice to give, like, my voice a break for not all the reading that I would have to bear, plus the commentary. And also, it's nice, like, that you guys get to feel the characters, and I get to feel the characters, and I don't have to come up with stupid voices myself. I could, but it would really get hard and frustrating, and I would give up halfway through, probably. It is used to calculate the price of European style options, and is widely used by auction marketers. Though there are some discrepancies that are now corrected with the modern research. Rain. It's been a long time since we've gotten rain here around here. You know, like, that was bad. <laughs> I'm gonna reread that. I'm gonna reread that. Hold on. Rain. It's been a long time since we've gotten rain around here. But it is the season for rainy weather. So it's not exactly that surprising. Personally, I loved the sound of it. The rain really is such a soothing sound. I mean... It does get a little freaky sometimes because, well, if you're like me, you've been in a couple of tornadoes and one of them literally could have killed you. I'll explain that after I read the rest of it, but, um, yeah, let me finish reading this and then I'll explain the whole tornado thing. The way the raindrops fell, like the soft tap of your fingers, it was so soothing. So soothing. That's really hard to say. <laughs> it's really hard to say that, like, together. Am I? Do I have a hiccup? Oh, oh, there's raindrops. Oh, I had the audio down too low. Hold on. That might just be my PC. Maybe that's sound effects? I don't know. No, it's background music. It's really weird. Here. Hang on. It was so soothing. Even looking at the droplets of the glass of the window was strangely calming. Alright, so now back to the tornado thing. Uh, I believe it was in 2004. Uh, there was a really bad tornado thing. It just... I was just staying, I was staying with my dad at that time, my sister and I were with my dad. My dad wasn't at the house, I don't think. I just remember it being my sister, my grandma, and my stepmom and I. And we were watching Pete's Dragon, my sister and I. And all of a sudden, the TV got shut off. And the next thing we knew, I guess we were hearing sirens? I don't remember hearing sirens, I just remember, like, thinking, oh wow, a tornado, maybe I'll see one. You know, it's like... I, I was a kid, I had no idea they were really that dangerous, you know? We had no basement to go into. Uh, there was a garage, but to get out to the garage, which m may or may not have been safer, who even knows, would have made going actually outside, out of the house, into the garage. So that was not an option either. So we were stuck into this hallway between my bedroom, my stepmom and my dad's bedroom, this little tiny hall. And they ripped, my grandma and my stepmom ripped the mattress off of my sister's bed and leaned it over us. And we all cuddled, huddled together up underneath that mattress. If the tornado had landed on the house, if the tree that was in the front yard had fallen over onto the house, like it almost did, like a, I think something fell off, like a branch hit the tree or something, something fell on the roof right that created a dent in the roof but if it had actually fallen over onto the roof of the house we would have died 
because there was nowhere else for us to go. So now, like, thunderstorms or really crappy rainy weather really freak me out even more than they used to. Uh, because of those experiences that I've had with tornadoes, not as much as they did when I was younger. When I was younger, any time there was a, I even thought there was a little chance for a tornado, I would run downstairs because I was terrified. Um, but now it's a little bit better. Uh, but, like, just regular fucking sounds is pretty soothing. Thunderstorms are okay. Um, I kind of got over those when I got this, like, rainforest tape that my dad would play for us on car trips because I was scared of thunder. And so one of the ways that we kind of got me over that and desensitized to the thunder, and it's still kind of scary, but I don't get nearly as terrified. Like, when I was a kid, I would just, I would just want to hide under my blankets. I was so terrified. I would cry. I would scream. I I couldn't do, like, anything because it was so loud and so terrifying to me. And, uh, one of the ways that they kind of helped me desensitize to that was my dad played this Rainforest CD, uh, tape thing in the car on our car trips to his house. And, uh, it had thunderstorms on it and it kind of helped teach me to, you know, not be so scared of the thunder. And it was one of my favorite CDs. All I had was, like, animal noises of the forest, and then, like, uh, you know, it would go into thunderstorms. Um, but I loved that tape. It was, like, my favorite tape to listen to. Anyways, uh, you should get Disney now. I'm sorry. I go off on these tangents. And, uh, story time with Wolf Song. <laughs> get to know a little bit more about me and the Kira Laws if you actually watch this. I hope you enjoy my little story times in these videos. It makes them infinitely longer, but you know what? Uh, maybe it's interesting to you. I don't know. <laughs> uh, someone told me that she's actually like watched these videos, which is why I keep referring to you or her or whoever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta stop listening to people who tell me stuff. But it was someone on our Discord. Ugh. Okay, moving on. For this reason, I felt lucky for having a seat next to the window, though I did spend more time staring outside than I did paying attention in class. I know that feeling. I really did do that, uh, especially in middle school. In high school, there really weren't a whole lot of seats next to windows, but in middle school, man, that was kind of one of the things I just liked to do when I could, at least. I don't know. School got boring at some point. In high school, though, not enough classes with windows, which is kind of nice, though, I guess, if you're considering all the dangerous stuff that happens at high schools lately. It actually feels a lot safer to not have all sorts of windows, because then it's like, oh, look, we're going into, you know, shelter in place, or like, lock it. I think it's, no, it's not called lockdown, it's not called, uh, shelter in place anymore, it's called, like, lock and teach, and then there's lockdown, which is lock the doors and all the students hide. Um, but yeah, considering that does happen a couple of times in Ivy School, literally, like, one time, we, we weren't even allowed to leave, but that was because there was a situation going on in one of the streets. And they were not letting any of us escape. It was like, it was a crazy situation. Uh, it was slightly terrifying, but uh, it was okay. I almost want to do another terrifying tornado story too, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Anyways, the lectures in class were pretty boring. Mrs. Phillips' voice it wasn't so soporific S soporific soporific I don't know how to say that but I just wasn't interested in what she was saying and since it was the period right before lunch all I could think about was doing other things in my free time honestly I didn't really care much for economics sure I had good grades in this class but it was only because I read the textbook and did my assignments as I had to God, I miss assignments. College is so hard. 
We don't get homework that you get created for. We get big projects. You have to do them or you get no points. And it sucks. You guys have no idea how bad college life sucks. And I was only taking this class because it was mandatory. And if it were up to me, I would probably have taken another course. I know that feeling. Oh my goodness. So you know, in high school, they made me take two semesters of gym and one semester of health. Do you know how much friggin' time that took off my schedule? I could have gone without both those classes. But no. Oh no. I've had to, um, basically what high school has taught me is more important things like, oh, I don't know, you know, hey, if someone's having a spill, here's how you spot that. Or, oh, hey, here's how you take care of your body. Here's things that you could do to eat healthy. No, 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 no. We got to learn about STDs and drunk drivers who kill people and texting and self driving. We got to watch this creepy, disturbing video of, hey, look, watch this PSA about texting and driving where this chick is going to kill all of her friends, a baby, and two parents. And she's Listen throughout the entire video while you're sitting in class, bawling your eyes out, trying to block like the images out of your brain, but unable to because you've already seen that video once before when you were in seventh grade. No, not even seventh. I think it was eighth grade. I think we watched it in eighth grade. It didn't bother me as much back then. I think. I guess it's because, I don't know, I don't know why it didn't bother me as much back then. For some reason I was able to not cry, but I think watching it again in high school just made it ten times worse because when I was in eighth grade I wasn't even thinking about driving, you know? But then I got into high school and it was like, that could be me in like a year and the thing that made it worse was there were classmates who were laughing at certain videos of people dying in car crashes or not dying in car crashes but they they were laughing at videos of people who were like getting hit by cars we thought it was hilarious my teacher did nothing he said nothing he wouldn't correct the class he wouldn't like and and he pulls me out of the room he says why aren't you taking notes? I said, the images that are on the screen are difficult for me to handle. I tried my best to explain to him. I'm a very visual person. If you show me this stuff, I basically was like sick almost in that class. Like I would go to school on those days. I would start feeling physically sick because I knew I had that class. And what's worse is I ended the day with that class. So I was always going home in a bad mood because of that class. And my parents literally had to come up to the school to talk to the school about it. Because the teacher was not, like, literally. They tried to explain to him that, you know, I have problems with this sort of thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real for you, with you guys for a second, and I'm really sorry. I know this is taking forever. I promise I'll get back to the game. But you know what? It's my YouTube channel. I can do whatever I want in my videos, okay? It's my YouTube channel, not yours. You don't like it? Unsubscribe. No, wait. I'm kidding. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, I am autistic. Now, it's not like... like you know, one of those people who's got like a very extreme form of autism, I have, it's very mild form, but it affects me in ways, like I'm really sensitive to sounds, and like smells, and visual images. I can't do horror movies because those stick with me and I start to see stuff happening to me in my head and I can't make it stop. Except for in like, I can handle like video games, sort of, it depends on the video game. Like, I can handle the Resident Evil video games, uh, barely, um, but I can't handle, like, um, 
movies really um and yeah but they tried to explain to him and he gave them the same bullcrap answer of well that's life she's gotta learn it and so it was like it was ridiculous but it was one of those courses where i feel like I just, I shouldn't have had to take it. It actually, I think it's made things worse for me because now I have zero de- desire to drive whatsoever. When I was a freshman in high school, before I took that health class, I wanted to drive. I really did. Like, I wanted, like, I wanted to get the handbook. I wanted to do it, you know? And after taking that class, I think there was a part of me, and there's still a part of me that is like, I don't want to drive. I don't want to do anything related to driving it doesn't matter because even if i'm behind the wheel i could kill somebody else i could kill myself even if i don't even if i'm a responsible driver somebody else is probably gonna kill me like because that's what health class taught me so and then gym don't even get me started on gym class all right there's no curriculum for gym class in high school they literally invented a walking class because that's what half the people do because they don't give us anything to do in our high school. They don't. I'm like, what is the point of this class anymore? It, it just it makes me so angry, the ridiculous amount of requirements that they have for this school. Like, for, for, for graduation, it was ridiculous. I didn't get to do enough exploring at school. I didn't get to take enough classes. I would have loved to maybe try out another class that taught me how to sew or something. I, I, I couldn't. I, because of my schedule. I didn't have room because of all the requirements. Now, part of it was taking choir for four years, but you know what? I love to sing. Why should I have to give up my love of singing because of the requirements? You know? There were very few feel like we're not a lot of you know it's just our schedules are so limiting in high school it's ridiculous and then you get into college and it's like it's still pretty limited especially if you go on a scholarship when you pick in a degree plan it's like uh, maybe i don't know exactly what i want to do well if you're on a scholarship you have to know exactly what you want to do you know like I can't even figure out what I want to do with my life in high school and now I can't do it in college that's ugh. that's why I'm so happy I found app last week with Gerald and like okay you know what I'm just no 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 I'll save this for another video if you guys want to hear more of these kind of stories um let me know and uh you know what maybe I'll find somebody who can do like one of my animations for me and I can give you guys my stories and send them to the internet I don't know uh, we'll see. Anyways. Uh, luckily, it was my senior year. So after this semester, it would mean the end of high school courses forever. Thank God for that. Yeah. I didn't hate high school. No. Yeah, exactly. It was just kind of mundane how the days drifted on and on as if there was no end to it how everyone feels let's be honest the only thing I really enjoyed about going to school was meeting my friends and hanging out with them but that was kind of it exactly in short I was done with high school the start of second semester put a note of finality to it I had already applied to many universities the semester prior and I was expecting replies sometime in the next few months seemed like the start of something new. Something that would change. That is, if things could change. I stared at the plain outline of raindrops in the distance. For now, I was stuck in this class. Miss M. Mrs. Phillips' raised voice interrupted my train of thought. Just when I was thinking about class, I quickly turned my head to face the teacher. Hopefully she didn't pick me just because she noticed that I was spacing out. Um, yes ma'am? Would you care to name the equation I set up on the blackboard? Oh, 
I think I read about that in the textbook last night. It should be the black Scholes model for formula. Very good as always, Miss Anderson. Anderson. It followed me wherever I went. Most people didn't really know me by my first name, but rather my sur by my surname. No doubt, since the surname was the trademark of the internationally famous and philanthropic Anderson Family Toys, and because the founder was my own grandfather. Susie, one of my best friends, turned around and proudly gave me a punch to the shoulder. Hey, ass girl. From beside me, I heard Naomi, another one of my best friends, clearing her throat in obvious disapproval of Susie's choice of words. <coughs> she means good job. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. She's got the cutest little voice. Oh my gosh. Miss Papini. Oi. <laughs> that cracked me up. Care to tell me who the creators of this formula were? Uh. Some guys named Black and Scholes? <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Scholes. I mean, technically, Suzu wasn't wrong. <laughs> Just because she doesn't have a first name doesn't mean it. I mean, yeah, I know it does, but still. Technically, she wasn't wrong. Very good, Miss Patterson. Show off. Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. Suzu rolled her eyes and slouched into her chair as Naomi gave her a small smirk. She always pouted when Naomi showed her up. That's the end of today's lesson. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your project. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. Before I knew it, Suzu and Naomi had scooted their desks to align with mine, and we turned into the three musketeers. Whenever the teacher let the students decide on groups, we always grouped together in our little trio. It was a sheer stroke of luck that we had all managed to be in the same class, so we had to at least take the opportunity and stick together as much as we could. Besides, we were most comfortable around each other than, say, compared to being around any other classmates. It just made sense for us to put our heads together for any kind of project. I took out the poster we were working on and rolled it open onto the three desks. We were pretty much finished with fulfilling most of the guidelines for the project, though we did still have to add a few finishing touches here and there. After working on making the poster a bit prettier, we sat back and inspected our work to see what we still had to do. Naomi, as usual, was the first to look for any issues. She lightly tapped a pencil against her chin, staring intently at the project. Alright, so let's see. We finished the budgeting section, the building leasing, and the cost for labor. What else do we need? Suzu straightened up to look at the poster and stroked her chin. After a few seconds, her face brightened and she spoke up. How about a company name? Did we really skip over that? Of course we did. You always go straight into the logical statistics and stuff, but you completely skip over the facts. We need a name for our project. <sighs> I'll leave you caught at this time. What do we name it? Hmm, not sure. What do you think? It always came down to me. Whenever there was something to be named or titled, I was the master and ending decision. Even when I didn't want to be. I Trinity Corporation. That is way too predictable. How about the Dragon Company? What do dragons have to do with our project? What? It's a totally unpredictable name. It's hard. But our company sells bubble gum. Who said we can't produce spicy bubble gum? <sighs> what do you think? Hmm. What do you think? Both of them looked at me expectantly, even though I wasn't quite sure myself. I didn't really want to choose sides, but if it were up to me, I would say, all right, I'm going to save this time before my first choice, because I know the first choice is coming up. Boop. There we go. Like that. And, um, let's see. Okay. Uh. 
should go with this. Well, at least the last time I started, I went with this. I think I might just go ahead and go with this for this one. Uh, just because I plan on s playing this a second time around. And, uh, I don't know. I feel like maybe the second time around, I'll get more surprises if I just pick stuff the way I do it. Like, the way I did, like, this initial time last time I played the game. And I lost everything because I didn't save. So, yeah. I like Dragon Company. Booyah! Dragon Company it is! <laughs> oh. Oops! Oh, no! I skipped the dialogue! No! I skipped the dialogue! <laughs> I'm gonna reload just so I can listen to that. I hate skipping dialogues. Yes! Oh, look, the, like, I like that, that it's random, it just switches which one's on top. Booyah! Dragon Company it is! Alright, now that we've decided on a name, now what? As we ended our name game, a giggle scrambled my thoughts. <laughs> <sighs> I'm already annoyed with her. Huh? Who is that? Ignore it, it's just Lisa. I looked over my shoulder to see her laughing with her circle of friends, mostly comprised of popular people that were practically friends with everyone in school. And as a result, everyone in school knew them. In the center of it all was Lisette White. She sat with a posture that indicated that she was still working, but that she also was ready to casually chat about her day. She had an endearing balance of charismatic and awkward, which was readily apparent when she first talked to someone. It was easy to make her smile and laugh, and she was quite the comedian as well. Basically, she was perfect. Not that she was like a robot or something, but she was the student that everyone else wanted to be. Lizette was bright, easygoing, and, above all, had her future laid out right in front of her. Unlike the average student, she knew what she wanted to do after high school, and as a result, she was confident and ambitious, though sometimes it could rub a lot of people the wrong way. Moreover, I had known her ever since I was young, but it had ultimately resulted in a rivalry that continued today. Of course, my friends knew what was between us, and upon seeing me glance at her, they shifted their attention to her. She doesn't even look like she's working, in my opinion. She probably is, but she's too much of a stuck-up prick to allow herself to look like she's actually doing work. Oh, come on, Kizu. She may be a little off-putting, but she's not the darn prick that you're making her seem to be. The day she isn't a prick is the day I turn into you. Oh, burn. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. <sighs> it's about time! Let's bail! Unsurprisingly, Suzu was the first out of the classroom, slinging her backpack over her shoulder with ease as she quickly strolled out the door. Oof. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. It was like a combination between like a burp and not a burp. Oof. The seat isn't even closest to the exit, and she always manages to be the first one out of the door. I don't think I'll ever understand that. Alright. Oh, I forgot to save. Alright, well, I'll just go ahead and quit. <laughs> me and you both, Naomi. It's you and me. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't grammar. I'm not a grammar Nazi. Gosh. She gave me a smile, as if relieved by the fact that I felt the same way as she did. We're gonna save! Yes! You know why? Because we saved before every choice, but I forgot to, so I'm gonna save after that choice. Because I don't want to have to redo this all over again. See? Why can't she just be normal like the two of us? <laughs> it's Suzu, Naomi. <laughs> Think about it. Very true! <laughs> <laughs> Man, you guys are slow. Are you coming or what? We heard you the first time. Not everyone has rocket boosters attached to their legs when the bell rings. Are you kidding me? 
That class was ridiculously boring. Even the salutatorian here was dozing off a bit. <laughs> I do have to admit, I was spacing out. And just because I answered one question doesn't mean I'm automatically the valedictorian. Okay, so it wasn't too interesting. But you should at least pay attention when Phillips is talking about the important parts. So you finally admit it. We're finally on the same wavelength. Welcome to the club, Patterson. Please, don't call me by my last name. This isn't the classroom. And never in a million years will we ever see things eye to eye. Yes, you will. Okay, so I gotta be honest. I ship this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. It's probably not a thing I should ship. But I do. Alright, they get on each other's nerves. They're probably more like siblings to each other. But that's why I like it. <laughs> Despite this, they both burst out into laughter. Normally, anyone would think that opposites like them wouldn't ever associate with each other. But even though they were so different, their friendship somehow made a lot of sense. This is, this, that, actually, this is the line that made me ship that. <laughs> I ship it. I ship it. You've been shipped. Even if I can't do fan art, you ship my brain. Maybe they were just perfect complements, or personality just didn't dictate the possibility of their friendship. After all, we three had been best friends since preschool. Gosh, I wish I had that. I don't. Um, well, I kind of do, but I don't know. It's a lot of judgment, I guess, but I don't really have that kind of friend. It didn't make me sad. Most people didn't like me, and if I did make friends, they moved away or stopped talking to me after a year kind of sucked. I'm sorry, enough about my sad life. Alright, so where are we heading to first? The cafeteria? I think we can all agree that we're really hungry, especially after hearing about our company's line of deliciously spicy bubblegum. Who would even buy that? I wonder. There is actually spicy bubblegum out there, I believe. There are spicy candies. They make sour bubblegum. I can believe that there's spicy bubblegum somewhere in the world. Me? I would pay good money to get some. I wouldn't. Not in a million years. Mm -mm. I don't want. No, I want to feel my tongue after I eat. Thank you very much. <laughs> you do like spicy food, after all. We entered the cafeteria, a bustling room filled with the aromas of different kinds of food. As we got in line, we ordered our meals and chatted freely. Cheese and fries and a spicy chicken burger for me. That's my definition of a good meal. I'll take a tuna sandwich and some juice. You're probably going to need water or something to curb all that spicy flavor, Suzu. I can't be tamed by the likes of that. If it's spicy, then it's gotta be all or nothing. Yeah, but you should still get water because you need to kinda drink water or something. Like, it, it can be all or nothing, but you're still going to need to hydrate, honey. You, you still need to hydrate, and you're both probably going to get pretty dry, so... Hydrate! You're crazy! Hell yeah, I'm crazy. Crazy, yeah. Although I can picture my dad doing something like that. He likes spicy things. He likes hot tamales. I don't like hot tamales. I, don't, I think they're gross. I don't understand it. Why do you want to... Why do you want a candy that will make you feel like your tongue is burning? I mean, sour candies are a bit different. That's that's a different kind of burn. But... Yeah. I think I'm getting a migraine. I think I'll go with... Uh, duh. Uh, th th this is a classic. Mac and cheese and a soda. Yes. Yes, yes please. That sounds good. I'm gonna say it because I forgot to say it again, like a herper derp. I am a herper derp. It's okay. I just derp my way through games. I do. I derp my way through games or scream my way through games, depending on what kind of game it is. Once we got our food, we settled down at one of the empty tables, putting our backpacks aside to finally dig into the food. Suzu leaned back in her chair, tilting it back so that she could rest her feet on the table by her food. See, no, just... 
why would you want your feet by your food? This doesn't make sense to me. Especially with shoes on. Unless this is supposed to be like a Japanese school. In which case I think they take off their shoes before they go inside. But I don't know. Uh, why would you put your feet up on that? Alright then. Is there anything we want to talk about? <laughs> Bored already? I know. Let's talk about... Big boys and I will never speak to you ever again. Aww, why not? What's so interesting about talking about guys? It's not like any of us are going to get boyfriends anytime soon. I just love the facial expression changes too. Especially that your character is like, you can see her and she's on the side. You can see what she looks like and her facial expression changes too. Like, this is just brilliant. We don't know that. What if one of us does get a boyfriend? Like, that's going to happen, Naomi. Look at us. I'm a tiny Italian. You're a dishy blonde. Okay, she does not look blonde to me. She's like a cross between a redhead and a... Like, she's like a dirty blonde, you know? If she's blonde, she's a dirty blonde. That does not seem blonde to me. I don't know. That doesn't feel blonde. Hey! <laughs> no offense. Can Anderson here? Well, I guess she could find a boyfriend or girlfriend if she wants. Or girlfriend? She can be a lesbian if she wants. She's not wrong. I could if I wanted to. But I don't. <laughs> I don't. No, I'm playing this for the hot guys. Sorry, Suzu. True. <laughs> and that's okay, Suzu. I'm not sure I want a boyfriend yet. Why not? It's her senior year. Might as well get a boyfriend. Maybe she's just not interested in a relationship, Suzu. Well, it really wasn't about wanting a relationship. It, well, there was no one interesting enough to be in a relationship with. See, I always found the cute guys, but the cute guys were always taken. Or else we're never for the kind of guy who would go out with me in a million years. And it still happens today. Every time I see a cute guy, though, it's always out in public. And I'm like, I can't ask you for your number. I don't know you. And if it's not, like, if it's like we actually get a chance to interact for more than, like, a few seconds or a few minutes, they live in another freaking state. Like, why does this always happen to me? So, so frustrating. Like, I can't ask you for your number. You live in a different state. And that would be weird. I live in New York. And this, no, mm, uh, mm. I live in a different state than you. I'm not giving away my state. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know why I do that. Okay, but I, I, I gotta get it in while this uh, video will end up being like an hour long. It probably already is. It's probably already been an hour. I don't keep track of time. Don't get me wrong. I'm an open person, but there were not many interesting guys in the school to go out with. Who knows? Time will tell. It... That, my friends, is called a uh, foreshadowing. 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 I remember words. I'm smart. <laughs> I learned that word in like the seventh grade and I loved it. Because of the book. I had a rough time in seventh grade and that book really saved me. But that's another story that I will tell you some other time. Naomi looked at me, wanting to continue the conversation. However, before she could speak, the speakers in the cafe started up, and an announcement echoed through the cafeteria. Miss Anderson, please come to the main office immediately. Please bring your things with you. Oh my. Looks like our plans have been cut short. The men in white coats have finally come to get you. <laughs> Suzu, don't joke around. What if it's serious? Ah, fine. If something happens, just call us. Funny enough, something did happen. Alright, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna save right here because I don't think I can get through all of the intro tonight. Literally, I was trying it the other night and it was taking me forever. And I also want these videos to not be, um, like, hours long, which they will be if I am not careful. So, we're gonna save right here boop -a -dee boop yes i am sure why is i don't understand why is it the why is that black 
because it's just the intro. I don't know. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, um, please just anyways thanks for watching this video you guys if you enjoyed it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to um i'm gonna be continuing this let's play series of seduce me the otome who knows how long it will be uh and length of the videos will vary depending on uh if i lose track of time or not and basically just kind of if i decide to edit it or if i decide not to edit it um some of these might be raw, some of these might be not raw, so we'll see. This one's probably going to be just raw cut because, well, except for like maybe a couple of little parts in there. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. And I don't script these outros either because I, like I said, you're going to get me. And um, I really do hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.